Welcome back to Rare Oakley's. One of the final pairs of X medals to be released was the X, half X, sorry. I was gonna say X squared, that was the last pair. But the half X were one of the last pairs just before the X squareds. Today we're gonna do an unofficial unboxing of a pair of plasma with tungsten half Xs. Hopefully you guys are gonna like this, but of course before we do that, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and of course, do not forget about that bell icon. That is for you so that you never miss a future episode of Rare Oakley's because why would you want to do that? Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Guys, we have a ton of fantastic content, a ton of exclusive content that you're only going to see here. Check out our other videos and also make sure you check out my book. It is educational, inspirational, motivational, packed with tips and tricks on how to save money and it is a fun and entertaining read. Links are going to be below in the description, so definitely check this out. You guys will love it, even if you're not an avid reader. So the half X, there was a lot of, I don't want to say controversy around the half X, but there were a lot of, I guess, a lot of polarization. A lot of people liked them, some people didn't like them, and there were different reasons for that. You know what? I'm kind of in the middle on that. There's some aspects of the sunglasses that I like. There's some aspects that I don't like, but we're going to unbox these. We got a brand new pair here. Well, I think they may have been worn. I don't even remember, to be honest. It's been so long. They haven't been worn in probably more than a decade. But uh, we got them right here. And they, of course, these have the traditional X-Metal box before they change them, just before the discontinuation of the X-Metals. And they got their own special coin as well. So this particular pair, let's take a look at the label here first. They got the diagram right or the yeah the diagram of the glasses here which actually i think the lenses look a little bit smaller on the diagram but plasma tungsten iridium and then you got the skew here the model number 04-140 and of course these have already been opened but this the cool thing about these is that this particular pair is that the foam is relatively intact it's not as old as some of the original Juliet's and so forth are the pennies that I have here. You got your warranty and registration paperwork. And what else do we have in here? Yeah, the foam is still pretty well intact in here, which is good. Oh, you know what? It is starting to deteriorate a little bit. So you got to be a little careful. It's not too sticky. This is an extra set of nose bombs to customize the fit. I'm going to actually remove the coin here for you guys. I kind of don't want to do it because it hasn't been, I don't think it's been removed yet, but let's carefully try to remove this coin. All right. So you got your X-Metal logo here on the one side and the other side, you got the half X logo. So that's your half X coin. I should have had the X-Metal coin holder. I'll put this back here or try to as best as I can. See, it's hard to get this in and out without tearing it. Actually, we'll probably deal with that later here. Let's take a look at the, at the goods here. Come on in, come on in so we can see these. You got your HDO, high definition optics tag, and then the Oakley ellipse here. Are we able to capture what it says here? Are we able to see what it says? There's some writing here on the, on the tag. See if we can get that in focus. I'm gonna put a light on there too. It's kind of strange because they didn't they didn't put that lettering. They didn't put it in a lighter color like white or light gray. They put it in a very, very dark gray, which really doesn't give any contrast. So I'll let you guys pause the video and see if you can read that. I don't even know what it says. I can't read it from here. But let's open these up. So these were Oakley's second semi-rimless pair of X-Metals behind, of course, the Romeo 2s. But they were, they were designed differently. They did actually also share the icon with the Romeo 2s. This is the only other pair of X-Metals to have the icon, the actual icon, the Oakley icon or the ellipse on the ear stems, the Romeo 2s and the half X. That was kind of interesting. I do like the way that they look here with this... Uh, hinge 
you can see that there's a little bit of space but back there. And I don't know what this is exactly here. There's no screw there. Try to get that in focus so you can better see it. There's no screw, but it's got a little bit of a nub at the top there. And the one distinguishing factor for these for X metals was that they did not have flex couplers or the rivets. Now, the other pair that didn't have the rivets, of course, were the X squareds, which came out <clears throat> after these, but these did not even have the flex couplers. The X squareds did have the flex couplers, even though they didn't have the rivets. They also had their own sets of ear socks. And these ear socks happened to be, to go with the tungsten iridium, they happen to be barrel or root beer. And I want to put a light on there so maybe you can see that a little bit better, the brown, the brown color, along with the nose bombs by my thumb there. Those are barrel or root beer, which are one and the same. And they do also feature spring hinges. <clears throat> but of course a different mechanism. So I do like the spring hinges a lot. They give them extra durability and maybe that's why Oakley decided not to incorporate the flex couplers. Although the X-Metal pennies, as you know, those had spring hinges, but they also had flex couplers. But uh, the flex couplers in those tended to not be worn out because the spring hinges reduced a lot of the stress. But we're gonna have Bob here try these on. I may even try these on too, but let's see how these look here on Bob. And you can see, yeah, they uh, they look pretty good. They actually look like a pair of half wires, pretty much. But, of course, they're not wires, they're X-Metals. So I'm going to actually try these on because i got something to share with you guys too. In that they do fit relatively well. They're pretty heavy because they're a thick frame, even though they're semi-rimless. The, the rest of the frame is pretty thick. But I think they, they fit pretty well. They fit very well. They, they provide good, adequate coverage, um, particularly under the eyes. And of course, it's going to depend on your facial structure, your individual facial structure. But the one, I think the one area that you have to be aware of is right here on the sides. There's a little bit of light leakage I could almost, yeah, I can get my fingers between my face and the lenses. So they do stick out a little bit. So just be aware of that if you just do decide to pick these up. And of course that may be a little bit different depending on your facial structure. But overall, I do like these a lot. I haven't worn them very often. I don't even know if these have been worn to be honest. They've been sitting on display for more than a decade now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. episode. Make sure, as always, you guys don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. We will see you next time on Rare Oakley's.